guys, so I know that my nursery really isn't done yet, but um, I figured I'd just do a little nursery tour. It's pretty much, for the most part, done. Um, we did as much as we could. The only thing that we're missing is the mattresses for the crib, which we didn't, like I said, I haven't had a baby shower, I haven't, you know, there's lots of things that I'm missing, so, and those are on my registry. Um, so we haven't gotten two mattresses yet. I feel like that's not a big deal because our babies will not be sleeping in their crib for a little bit. I really want to transition them into a crib as soon as possible. My mom said with my twin brothers, she put them in a crib immediately. Um, you want to get them on a schedule. So I'm probably going to keep them in our room. I'm hoping to do it maybe two months. Um, Anyways, yeah, so I don't plan on them sleeping in here for a little bit, but um, yeah, we're missing just a few things, but it's so cute and I wanted to sh share it with you guys. And I don't really know what each day brings at this point, so I figure I'll just do a quick tour and show you guys how it looks. It's really cute, so. Here it is, here's the nursery. There's our rocker chair, I got a nice, cozy blanket. It's super, super soft. It feels like fur, like rabbit fur, but it's obviously not. It was 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, this really cute pillow has a little deer and owl on it, and we got that from this cute boutique store by the coast in San Diego. It was... I can't... I don't really know where I got it from. I'm gonna try and let you guys know where I got everything from, so... This rocking chair is awesome. It's a glider and it's super comfortable. I got it from Bye Bye Baby. My grandma got it for me. And then I have this cute little ladder. I've seen it on Pinterest and I just think it's so cute to put blankets on. There's some of their swaddles on there. Obviously the theme is outdoors, um, woodland creature adventure themed. So, and I got this on Amazon. It's like the cutest little light switch with some animals on it and my bookshelf, if you guys have seen that. I got my little twin book, I got that on Amazon. All pretty much on Amazon. Um, I got this, this is like one of my most favorite things. I got it on Etsy, and it's a mountain shelf. I'm obsessed with it, it's super cute, and I have just some books on it, some little tiny books that I loved growing up. My uh, mom got this for me when I was in the hospital, I thought it was cute. Um, and then my mom got me these too when I was in the hospital, so these were always by my side in the hospital. And then I have a little nightlight. This thing is a nightlight. I got it from Target. Um, this thing I got on Amazon. It's a little tiny wood, um, drawer set and it's, I figured they could put their toys in it. For now I have some baby pictures, I have a baby book belly book. I have some refills for my diaper genie. Ah, just some random stuff. A little rattle. I love Dumbo and I got this. I got this years ago when we first started trying. And then I have some teether and a little rattle. Sorry if I get out of breath. I'm not breathing good these days. <laughs> um, I have like little beanies in here. Bibs. Um, some bows for a little girl, and yeah, I'll probably fill those up eventually. And here's this wall. I have my little decal stickers that I got on Amazon. They're so cute. I got these on Amazon. They're cute little hangers. That's actually real wood, and I just thought it'd be cute for hooks. This I got on Amazon. Um, this. It's like a cool picture board and got some baby pictures. There's a little girl and my little chubby little boy. He's so chubby and he looks so grumpy in that picture. I love it. I'm obsessed with him. Here he is again. Chubby cheeks. And here she is. All perfect and cute. And then here's the first crib. This is going to be my little boys. Rowan, obviously, you guys know their names. I got these made on Etsy. Um, so cute, they're about 120 bucks. The lady worked really well with me and she customized it for me. 
These I got made on Etsy. They're handmade. It has a little fox, trees and mountains. And then in here I got his Dockatot. I got my Z twin Z pillow for nursing for twins and then a cute little elephant. And then these I need to hang up still. I got this on Etsy. I'm gonna hang that up on the wall. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. I'm gonna hang that up somewhere. And then I painted that for my babies. So I need to find a home for these three things. Um, this rug, I've had people ask me about it. <sighs> I can't breathe. Um, this rug I got on Amazon. So if anyone wants any more information, message me and I'll give you more info on the, the brand or whatever. So, here's my little wall of goodies. I still have little things to add to it. I want to put a picture frame on here, but these represent our two dogs. We have a little wiener dog and then a German Shepherd mix dog and then they always go after squirrels, so I thought that was cute. And then I just added these today succulents and then some woodland creatures more succulents cute little signs for them I felt like this is cute because for her stuff I have lots of little deers for his stuff I have foxes and I thought that was so adorable and perfect for them and yeah I got that on Etsy I think oh I can't breathe um, this is gonna be where I put all my products I only have some baby oil <laughs> Um, I have some cute little PPTPs for my little boy. They're actually super adorable. My husband's a golfer. He's actually a very, very good golfer. He does like actual tournaments and stuff. So he's obsessed with golf and they're little golf to PPTPs. So those go up on the hook. Yeah, I can't put that there. So, and then I added this just to put more stuff on. Um, have tons of swaddles, tons of swaddles and muslin blankets and receiving blankets for babies. Haven't found a home for them yet. Um, and then here's one of our gifts. We got an outlet. I've heard really great, great things about this this product. So. We need one more, obviously. We need two of everything, so I'm waiting for that. Hopefully, I'll get that with my baby shower that I'm having, whatever that may be. Okay, hold on one second. Just have a few things in here. I heard really great things about water wipes, baby bloom wipes. Um, I'm very much into chemical-free things. Um, Got some spatulas to put the creams on. I don't know if I'll even use them, but yeah, I still need pacifiers and teethers. I don't have any of that stuff. And then just some extra stuff. Like I said, this is all I have so far, so. And then all of Rowan's little onesies. There's some of hers mixed in because, you know, I'm sure she can wear this one. I'm not into pinks and blues. I am really into more neutral things. I'm not into the frilly, you know, purple pink things. It's just not for me. And then for boys, you know, I'm not into like the old blue everything. So yeah, just some cute little onesies for him. And here's some stuff for her. Obviously I have some pink things because people have bought me stuff. <laughs> And of course, I'll still dress her in it, but um, yeah, bunch of cute little onesies, socks, bikini, uh, little bathing suits, some pants for her, pink still. <laughs> um, yeah, I have people actually gave me a lot of gifts. Here's some pants for him, and this dresser, someone custom made it for us and it's beautiful. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It took him three months to make it. We just got it two days ago and it's just beautiful. I love it. So obviously we'll put the changing pad up here and then whatever else will go up there. 
Here is my little girl's crib, Scotland Avery. And I got her mobile customized. Someone made this on Etsy. And just a pillow. I think I'm gonna put this in Rowan's crib. And then this is gonna go in her crib because she's deer. And then he's of course a fox. So that will go in his crib. Here's a cute little fox stuffed animal for him. This will be his sheet, his fitted sheet on his thing. I can't, de I can't decide for her if I wanna do this one, the deer, or this one. It still has deers and bunnies and mice on it, and mushrooms, it's super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use for her, so what do you guys think? <laughs> and then here's her dock tot Sorry, I'm just having a hard time breathing. Um, Here's her di their diaper genie. I decided on, on a diaper genie. I talked to a lot of mamas and a lot of twin moms said diaper genie is the best. Um, they liked it the best, so I got that one. And then this sign I got on Etsy. I think it's one of the first things I bought. I was pretty obsessed with it, super cute. Um, my husband went and got this plant. I love some greenery in the nursery, so I'm excited about that. I think that kind of complements the room, brings some color. And then here's my little side table for when I'm sitting in my chair. I can put all my little knickknacks. I have a candle. This is all TJ Maxx. I got this on Etsy. Um, this thing I got, oh my god, where did I get it? Charming Charlie. It says, I cannot bear to be without you. thought that was adorable. This thing is hilarious. It's a boob rag and it has boobs on it and I just love it, it's awesome. So <laughs> I had to get that, I, I got it at a little boutique store in San Diego, can't remember the name of it, but yeah, I love that. And then this thing I got on Amazon, super cheap, I think it was 50 bucks, does just the trick. Um, I have The Happiest Baby on the Block, I hear that's a really good book, so I wanna read that. I'm into crystals. Um, healing crystals and my friend actually sent me the babies their own set of crystals so those are in here and then I have some nursing pads I figure I'll put my nursing stuff in here an extra little pot. it's pink and you know I don't want to put pink or blue in this room <laughs> and then and here are some bibs so I got a little fox for her some pink Actually, peach. I'd rather do peach than pink, so they're peach. And then here's his stuff. Little bears, clouds, you know. And I feel like she can wear that stuff too. It's pretty neutral. And then I have my milk snob. Um, it's the things that you can put over the car seat. Um, you can wear it as a nursing cover. I have two of them, actually. This is hers, and then I have a blue one that's his, it's like a teal color and it's striped. Um, has a different pattern on it, but yeah. This is hers and then he has another one, so I have two of them. So that's what's in there. And then my gold lamp. I got this on Amazon, I love it. I still don't have a light bulb in it, so it's not working yet, but I think it was like 60 bucks and it's super, super, just, I love that it adds some gold to the room, I love gold. So that kind of completes the little corner right there. I just love it. Today's the first day that it's all complete. So I've been sitting in here just looking at it and I just can't wait to use it. I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, here's the closet. So I have their monitors down here. My mom got us the monitors from our registry. It's the Samsung Baby View. Got that at Bye Bye Baby. They each have their own monitor. I have two bobas. Black one and a gray one. One for me, one for hubby. Some stuffed animals. Storage boxes. I haven't filled any of those up yet. And then I have all the girl clothes, which are so cute. This little tracksuit and pants. My friend got me this at Zara Kids, which I'm obsessed with Zara Kids. They're the cutest things. This thing I'm, I'm totally obsessed with. It's Bambi. And it's like adorable little summer dress. My husband got this for me in London. This little kid's place. So cute. 
He got this for me in Scotland, obsessed. I feel like this is the perfect Easter dress. I love it. Um, he got this in Scotland. He's Scottish if you haven't, I think I told you guys, but yeah, that's his family plaid. And then grandma got this for her, super girly and cute. I bought this years ago. I found it in a vintage shop and it's, I just loved it. It's so cute, it's like a little Mexican Spanish style dress and it's adorable. And then I have this little lemon summer jumper. So cute. My husband got this in China. Really cute. He got this also in China. Super cute. Girl stuff is just, it's just cute. Just so cute. And then for a little boy, he obviously doesn't have too much, but we'll, we'll get it going. Here's a little shirt from Zara for him. Little trees. Little bear shirt little kilt. It's a small little kilt. So we're gonna have to get a picture of them in their plaid eventually. Cute little one piece. This is I think a Ted Baker husband got this in England I think. Cute little sweater he got in Lithuania. He travels all over the world so he just collects all this stuff. My friends, they go to Scotland and they have pass this shirt down to all their little boys and then they let us have it to give to our Rowan. Scottish flag on there obviously. So how it felt really special to get that shirt. And then my husband got this in China. It's a cute little linen shirt. That's China. And then those are some like bigger things for when they're older. So and obviously I have the little dividers for their months. Here's hers. And then I have their shoes up there. I have like little ballet shoes. They kill me. And then, yeah. Um, just tons of stuff. So I put this shelf in here just to add some like little knickknacks, little collect, you know, little collectors things that we get. This I thought was cute. Adventure awaits. We can put pictures in that or whatever. Um, this has their heartbeat. We got these at the ultrasound place. That's the little girl's heartbeat and this is the little boy's heartbeat. He has a little owl. Pretty cool. And then here's like a memory book that I'll eventually write in when they, they're here. I have another one right here. A little teddy bear from London. More books. Books that I loved when I was little. Classic books. And more little knickknacks and a little light thing that I'm gonna hang up in here eventually. So hold on, I gotta get up. Ooh, getting up is hard. Um, this thing I'm gonna put in the frame has the ABCs, but all in woodland creature. So cute, I need to get a frame for that. And my friends, our friends from Scotland, made us this bassinet. It has a Scottish flag on it, and it's beautiful. And it's probably something I'll never use, but it's just gorgeous. She's been making them. She actually sells them on Etsy, and you can customize it to whatever you want. And it's just beautiful. The pad comes out so you can wash it. And she just, she's been doing it for years. She actually made me one when I was a baby for my mom. So it's something that I can pass down to my little girl and then to her little girl eventually. So, and then underneath this is a hamper. His and hers. Eventually I want to put like a big drawer here and have it come up here somewhat. And then this thing is like a little thing you can hang on the wall. And I'd love to put bows and cute little girly things on it eventually. And then this is the only box of diapers we have. So I don't even know if these are good. Um, it's obviously for when they're bigger. So I have that, I have a blanket with woodland creatures on it. Here's my diaper bag. I have a Fawn Design diaper bag. If you know about them, they're all over Instagram and they're really popular diaper bags. So I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> Actually got it um, like two years ago, I think. This is a diaper caddy that I can kind of bring everywhere in the house and you can put diapers in it. And then here's another diaper bag. My husband got this for me in London. It's by Kath Kidston. Super cute. And then up there's my Medela Sonata breast pump. And then I have more snoo covers when they get bigger. 
this thing you guys have to see. It's one of those milestone blankets. I'll show, you, I'll show it to you guys eventually. I don't wanna get it out. I'm actually getting tired of talking. So I'll do that one day eventually. I got that on Etsy. So here is their closet. It still needs to be filled up, but good enough for now, right? So there you have it, guys. There's the nursery. Okay, I had to sit down for a minute and take a breath. That was rough. Sorry if it was a lot of huffing and puffing and trying to breathe. Um, these days it's very hard to breathe and, and catch my breath. Um, he's really up in my lungs and my rib cage, so breathing is very hard. Um, but anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the nursery tour. I know it's not totally finished yet, but at least you guys can get the gist of uh, what it looks like and what it's going to look like. I'll do another video on it when we add the mattresses and everything and it's all totally put together. I'll do a little picture or video or something for you guys. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'll probably be doing my bum date here soon. I had a pretty um, advent um, adventurous, eventful 30 weeks. Um, a lot has happened. Um, had to be rushed into labor and delivery, thought I was going to labor. Mucus plug is coming out, so I will fill you guys in on all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, and contractions have gotten way worse. It's actually kind of scaring me, so. Anyways, I'll do a bump date and let you guys know, fill you guys in on all that stuff, so. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.